guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers. Hello to those of you who are brand new to the channel. Happy to have you join us. Be sure to say hi in the comments. I'm going to pull from Archangel Michael's Sword of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes in for you at this time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Card 19. Make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you toward your own joy. You deserve it. Well, isn't that lovely? Yes, you deserve joy. Um, I love that it says make a decision. Um, because it is a decision, right? Choosing ourselves, uh, believing we deserve the love and joy that we desire, um, it, it, it's a choice. So are you prioritizing your sense of happiness and joy and peace or are you prioritizing another? Um, fair question, just saying, fair question. A similar message came through in the um, Scorpio, uh, the Scorpio reading. Sort of, it was a, a mix of past energies and conscious energies, um, all around the similar theme of happiness. And it is a choice. And I say that because it was a Two of Swords that landed on the Sun. Um, the Ten of Cups was there. And so if you have Scorpio in your chart or if you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, if you're a Sag here dealing with a Scorpio, um, you may want to watch that reading because there's a similar feel about the happiness that you deserve that belongs to you, okay? So, but it is a choice. you got to claim it. <laughs> I'm going to pull the main spread, give you my general impressions. Three of Cups. Okay, I'll take it. It's a little celebratory. Um, could be talking about some form of reconciliation. What's crossing that? Um, Seven of Pentacles. Wow. So, Sag, how many times do you hear me saying, well, you got to be patient, plant your seeds of intention so that it can, you know, grow organically. I get the impression you feel you've waited long enough. So the Seven of Pentacles as, a, as the... Um, what's crossing you is you're losing patience. I'm going to give you my general impressions as I was saying, and then I'll get the clarify uh, the details from the clarifiers. Eight of pentacles in your unconscious awareness is good because that's about focusing on creative solutions to a problem. It's about working things through. Page of swords in the past. Um, maybe some need for some clarity or some information you've been seeking in your um, conscious awareness is temperance. I sort of like that because temperance, first of all, is associated with the sign of Sagittarius. So that's one of your cards. Secondly, it's a different type of patience, right? Temperance is more about going with the flow. Temperance is about um, transmuting energy and um, having some self-control and restraint as you trust that in time, all the energies come into flow and balance. So it's a different it's more spiritually wise than the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is all the practicality of things. Um, and so I do feel you may be struggling with your patience, but on some level, your spiritual wisdom is allowing you to kind of go with the flow. And perfect, Queen of Wands in the near future. Yes, it's associated with Aries, but look at her. She's all that fire energy, very empowered, very passionate. Um, kind of feels like you'll, you'll be bouncing into the control seat soon enough. Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Moon. So, part of what it is that's, uh, you're struggling with here is the longer it takes for you to have some form of communication with your person that focuses on 
um, resolving any struggles or challenges, reconciling any, uh, anything that's occurred. Um, and it's going to be different for all of you because it's a general reading, not a private reading. But there, you run the risk, the longer it takes, you run the risk of kind of being set up for a fall. So I can see why that Seven of Pentacles is crossing you. There's some underlying fears and anxieties and worries and apprehensions right the communication if we are if we want this cause for celebration and coming back together in a form of reconciliation and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and then what happens is you feel very defeated that's your fear is some feelings of um the communication not going your way um and when i say your way i'm not saying it in in a selfish uh, on a selfish I'm not saying you're selfish for wanting the conversation to be supportive. Oh my God. It is the end of a long day, guys. Hang with me. I swear I'll get there. But right, so the seven of pentacles is the challenges. I've set these intentions. I, I, I planted the seeds. I've been patient and patient. I want this reconciliation. The longer it goes on with no kind of resolution there, the greater the chance that the conversation isn't going to be positive. That's what you fear. Oh, Lord, Laura. <laughs> oh, thanks for loving me, Sag. Okay, Eight of Pentacles in your unconscious awareness. Page of Cups, King of Swords, Five of Cups, right? How can we sort of find this um, this uh, clarity the how we're the true feelings behind everything because that's sort of where the focus on the solution to the problem is it lies in sort of maybe coming from our high, the highest version of ourselves the king of swords in this case is coming through with honor and integrity. And all you're really after is if I just want what you say to ring true. I want to feel comfortable that you're coming from some form of honor and integrity and honesty because, man, I got clobbered before in the past. So in your unconscious awareness, you're willing to work on this situation. That is your preference, provided that your person is coming with some sensitivity, some honor, some sincerity, um, some integrity, right? Because that five of swords, no real honor and integrity there. That suggests that there may be issues around you trusting someone's intentions. So let's see the page of swords in the past. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I sort of feel like part of the energy in the past is around um, this person taking action, um, restoring some sense of fairness, balance, harmony. Uh, and you've, you're sort of looking around every corner for it. Remember, the Page of Swords is like the Spire Detective of the Tarot. Pages are messengers, but in this case, it's not a message you would be giving. It's one that you've been wanting to receive so you could take that next step forward. And it feels to me like, you know, you've been sort of patient and waiting for this person to take some form of corrective action, some form of accountability, justice, right? So that you could confidently step forward. Temperance is in your conscious awareness. Almost like you're sort of surrendering and trusting. Your spiritual wisdom is really guiding you here, Saj. Because it's like um, with temperance and the two of wands, and then what lands on the two of wands is the hanged man, which is Neptune. So it feels like you're sort of surrendering um, from your higher self, from your spiritual wisdom, from the part of you that understands that energies can come into flow and balance, that you can transmit something from 
you know, dark to light, from, you know, pain to pleasure, from sorrow to joy. And so you're sort of surrendering to like the path that you're walking or that you're choosing in this moment. Queen of Swords underneath, very nice match for our king here. Practical, pragmatic. You're sort of checking emotions at the door and you're really in a spiritual place. I do feel like you, you know, with the Queen of Swords, you are on a fact-finding mission. You are interested in getting to the core truth of any situation that isn't clear. Um, and you're open to working on things if this person meets you in that space of, yeah, I absolutely um, am sincere in this. So I feel like you're getting there and you're open and you're um, wise about it, even though the human part of you may be running short on patience. Um, because the longer it takes to get to the communication that would clear this all up, uh, the more you sort of go down the rabbit hole of how that you could come up short in that situation. So let's see in the near future, Queen of Wands. I almost feel like you're... Um, I don't want to say I feel like you're taking matters into your own hands in the future Queen of Wands with the death card and the four of cups the four of cups talking about emotional distance disappointment rejection um, sometimes just disillusionment almost as if you're coming in in the near future saying something has to change I can't let this stand. I know who I am. I know I know my I know my power. I know my strengths. I know my gifts. And I command attention. And it's not said with arrogance at all. I really feel in the near future as you're sort of surrendering to some form of spiritual wisdom here, it's all hinging on the two of wands, the path forward. And since you're being real pragmatic and practical minded about it, um, you're gonna get to this truth pretty damn quick, fast and in a hurry. And it's like, yeah, something's gotta give, something has to change because I, I don't wanna be sitting here, I, I don't wanna waste my time. Um, I know who I am. I know what I want, I know what I'm capable of giving, and I know what I deserve to receive. I am divine feminine energy, full stop. So I do feel like a little bit of, um, I'm not gonna say ultimatum right now because the communication hasn't happened, but I feel like a shift in your energy dynamic of the terms. Right? The terms of engagement with this person is what's going to shift based on the fact that you're no longer going to be sitting in no man's land, right? There feels to me to be some activity and movement towards some form of communication, even though you might fear it. And that's why the waiting is killing you. Uh, once the opportunity arises, I feel it shifts you into a different mindset of the death card being more about, um, you know, what needs to be released so that the happiness can come in, so that you're not sitting with all this disillusionment in matters of the heart, right? And it and this is Venus, by the way, right? So it does feel. Oh, and just to add a note, um, Venus just moved into the sign of Leo, like yesterday, so. I'm feeling that Queen of Wands pulling on that Venusian fire, Venus and Leo, very much about, yep, yeah, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. No, we're all eyes on me, I'm talking, I'm running the show here. And I'm saying that from a, a shift in your energy from one of potential, potentially fearing being defeated um, or manipulated um, to one of, I got it under control. These are the terms. 
You're in or you're out because I'm willing to work on things. So on some internal level, you'll be checking for clues, page of swords around this person's sincerity and integrity. That's all. So it really looks interesting. Um, I'm going to give you the astrology, but before that, uh, I will be doing an extended where I look at your connection, what's working for it, what's not working for it, past, present, potentially future opportunities. Um, this person's message to you. What do they want you to know? What are they trying to say? What are they picking up from you at 5D, which could be really interesting. Um, hidden energies, yes, for this person, what's going on behind the scenes that you can't see, but might want to know about. Uh, message from spirit, how things might unfold going forward. So we'll get a handle on this emperor. We have the emperor and the empress. So we know we're dealing with divine masculine and feminine energy. So that's what we're going to explore in the extended. The links to that are below. I said links, which is plural. You'll see option one, option two, and option three. I have now numbered them because people have been getting a little confused. So be sure when you click on a link that you read what it is that that particular offer provides, okay? Also, another link below the extendeds is one for a Lionsgate private reading special. So that's going to be $88 off in order of in honor of 8-8, which is August 8th is Lionsgate. If you're unfamiliar with it, at least click on the link and read all about what Lionsgate is about. So that's also available. And finally... If you like my readings and you haven't yet, please subscribe below, <laughs> okay? That is the only way I can stay here on this platform is if you subscribe, that is me building it. You are coming, subscribing, viewing. That's how YouTube then puts me in front of new viewers so that I can grow this thing. Otherwise, it's gonna shrivel up and die. So that's what I'm asking for. Thank you in advance. Here we go. We've got the moon is um, Pisces, page of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, king of swords is Aquarian energy, um, page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, justice is Libra, getting a lot of air energy for you, emperor is Aries, page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Temperance is Sagittarius, as I told you. This is definitely your reading. Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces, Queen of Swords, more Libra. Then we have the Queen of Wands, associated with the sign of Aries, Death Card, Scorpio. And the lovely Empress is Venus, Taurus, and Libra. So that's what I have to you, for you. I'm heading to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.